Warriors, let's get down to business. This has been a day, a hotbed of activity here in New York City, uh, as you're probably aware. We have tremendous goings on with the subway system, and uh, the city pretty much has come to a, a kind of a shutdown, uh, but more of a shutdown in the psychological sense, because uh, it is just not the New York I grew up with or have been living in for the past many decades. Besides that, I had to come to you, Warriors, and tell you about something that happened last evening. Let me lay the scene for you. And this, I want you to bear in mind, is the problem, one of the problems we have when discussing human trafficking, sexual exploitation, and the protection of our children. And I'm sorry if I sound a little hoarse, but I do a lot of, a lot of talking <laughs> in the last couple of days, and um, I'm losing the voice. Let me lay it out for you. So last evening, I uh, I will not use any names, but uh, I was at a very small event here in the city with somebody who wants to run for the Senate seat of our Senator uh, Gillibrand. And uh, he is in the medical profession. Actually, he's a doctor. He's been a doctor for decades. So he's floating the idea. And uh, he was coming together in front of what I would consider a friendly audience to talk about his agenda and what he wants to see for New York. Warriors, I wouldn't be a warrior if I didn't take to the mic when the section came at the end, asking for questions, comments. So as I stepped up to that microphone, I very nicely said, doctor, thank you for attending. Um, and your information. If you want to win this election, you will listen to me. And immediately I could see the look on his face, but nonetheless, I barreled through. And I explained to him what is missing in New York State. Remember, I'm speaking from where I live right now, uh, not for the whole country. New York State is the much needed agenda of talking about what is going on and affecting families, children, right now, 2022. The kind doctor kept referring in his speech to Ronald Reagan, and he was quoting Thomas Jefferson. So as I took to that microphone, I said respectfully, uh, this is what you need to do in 2022. You need to address families and what is going on in the school systems with gender identity. You need to learn more about human trafficking happening in this entire city and state. You need to address the concerns of parents and grandparents and all citizens for these issues are not being covered. New York state is a democratic state. Some might say it's blue. Uh, you know, all of these issues I talk about all the time are uh, bipartisan issues. These are abuses against our children, against people. They belong to no political party. So if this person who wants to run as a Republican wants to do anything in New York State, he is going to have to bring something to the table that the other side does not bring to the table. And I work with everyone. And none of, the, none of these elected officials in New York are addressing internet safety, real-time safety, the school agenda. Sure, they're addressing it the way they see. These are the issues people want to know about. These are the issues in New York State being ignored. And this man uh, said to me with gender identity, well, I just, now bear in mind, doctor, over 40 years. Well, I don't know about that. I want an agenda of reading, writing, and arithmetic. Well, warriors, we all want an agenda of reading, writing, arithmetic. That goes without saying. But again, as I reminded him, it's 2022. And it's time to address what is being thrown at us 24-7, 365, because it's only getting worse. And he had the audacity to say to me, I don't want a slugfest. And I said, respectfully, doctor, an appropriate slugfest is needed. Well, he didn't take kindly to any of this. I had many people in the background, small group, 
uh, clapping for me. This is the problem with elected officials, people who want to seek office. They don't belong. They're not there to help us. That's the bottom line. He didn't even want to hear about it. And I said to him, I would like to, you know, meet with you. I'd like to teach you more about this. Um, dismissive, dismissive, dismissive. To the point where at the very end, I went up to him and I gave him my business card. And I said, thank you very much. I'd like to help you win. These are topics that are much needed for discussion that people want addressed and nobody is talking about and really talking about and seeking solutions. And he didn't even look, look at me. He took the card and looked in the other direction, walked off and started talking to somebody else. How dare this person, number one, treat us like that? Because warriors, I'm here representing all of you. I'm in the trenches every day representing all of you. We cannot do this alone. We need all of you is what I always tell you, but I'm the one boots on the ground. I want to be here for all of you. And how dare this person think that he is going to be running for a seat to replace Senator Gillibrand, who has done, well, we'll leave her to the side. That's another story, has done very little uh, in New York State uh, for all of these issues. And you know what's sad? The bottom line here is very little, if nothing, is trickling down to our women and girls who are being sexually exploited and trafficked. And to all people, remember, one in six are boys. We don't talk about the, them too much. Uh, and we have men also. And on top of sex trafficking, we've got the forced labor. We've got forced servitude. We've got forced begging, which for the first time in my life I'm seeing around New York City, I'm seeing um, what appear to be teenage girls out on the highways. We have a highway on the west side, west side highway here, and they jump out. There is kind of a barrier in the middle, a median with some plants uh, in a certain, you know, during a certain stretch of it, and they will sit in there and wait. And uh, when there is a light, there are lights periodically, traffic lights, they will jump out and go up to cars selling uh, candy bars, water bottles. It's forced, uh, it's a form of forced begging. Their trafficker puts them out there and uh, they have to bring it so much, so much money to pay off their debt for being in this country. They're keeping no money. They're, I can't tell, they could be 14, they could be 24, very petite. Of course, they've got a mask up to their eyeballs, you know, baseball hats, hoods over the baseball hats. And nobody's doing anything. They don't want to talk to me. They're running away. Um, I've seen them with a baby on their back. So I'm saying, let's get back to my story. I'm still, you know what? I'm still steamed from last night. And this is only almost 24 hours later. It's been bothering me all day because I have facts. I have stats. And I tried to craft my message to this uh, potential person running for senator to the medical profession since he's a doctor. So I rattled off. I've got all the studies in my head and I've certainly got them here that I can provide. And I even said, Everything I'm telling you, doctor, is backed up by fact and truths and studies. And I rattled off the cost to our overburdened healthcare system, the cost of treating our children that are being sex trafficked, sexually abused, uh, exploited, the cost of the untreated, and these are figures from 2020, so we know during um, the last couple of years, everything has increased greatly, and he just didn't want to hear it. So when it was over, it was over and he was dismissive. And you know what I say, warriors, onward. And this is all the more reason that we have to take things into our own hands. We have to address gender identity. It is being forced, I'm hearing from parents and grandparents, all over is being forced in the public schools, in private schools, Catholic schools. I'm hearing it from all, all parents. And uh, mandatory beginning in September in the state of New Jersey, my neighbor's state here, the state I grew up in. Now, we have to talk about it. It's, it's on the table. It's a big issue. We have to talk about the internet and digital safety. We have to talk about new ways to communicate with the kids. Nothing's going back to the way we grew up. And you know all this. So what I want all of you to do, a couple of simple take actions. I just want to share that story with you. And I kind of told it in a very simple way, 
but it was disgusting example of, of people who think they can be in office and represent us. We can't have this, okay? They are not going to do anything for our children. All this doctor kept saying is, let's get back to the days of Ronald Reagan. And I said, respectfully, doctor, those days are over. Let's get back to reading, writing, and arithmetic. He must have said it 30 times. I said, well, again, in addition to that, this is what we need to address. Falling on deaf ears. It was horrible. But you know what, Warriors? I'm proud. I stuck to my, my talking points, my agenda. I didn't know I'd be speaking at all. I heard people clap. I had people come up to me afterwards asking for my card, asking, you know, is this true? Is that happening? So you know what? I won. I'm not the good doctor. In the meantime, I want you to sign up for my newsletter, Lynn's Warriors. Go to the website, lynnswarriors.org. Scroll down on the right side. It says e newsletter. How simple is that? A new one is going out in the morning, so there's still time to sign up. I try to include take actions, things you might not hear about, know about uh, on a weekly basis. Also, lynnswarriors.org. Information. Remember, knowledge truly is power. Things you need to know about your kids, your families, what's going on. Again, things not covered. And I humbly appeal to you, donations donations, donations, if you're able to. Every bit counts because we're beginning the educational program. I've got several meetings lined up in New Jersey uh, with a couple of uh, dates to get on the calendar that I'll be talking with parents and grandparents, um, guidance counselors also about all of this internet safety and how to talk to the kids and what to look for and free and simple resources. We're going to do this, Warriors. We're going to come together. We're going to make a difference. We're going to protect our own children in our own homes and communities. And with this, I want you to always remember that your donations support survivors, victims of human trafficking, of sex trafficking, of labor trafficking, of this forced servitude. Because without their stories and without their knowledge, I can't do my work. And these are the people that our government is failing for the most part. There is work being done, don't get me wrong, but there's so much red tape. And as I sit here and talk to you, more and more people are being abused, more and more people are being trafficked, more and more people are being brought over our border, infiltrating our communities. Where are the children going? Where are these people going? Sorry, Warriors, I, I, I left the uh, phone on once again. <laughs> and um, I humbly ask you, that is where your donations go. And we also have Amazon Smile. And if you use that link, amazonsmile.com, it costs you no money. You just choose Lynn's Warriors as your nonprofit. And again, it costs you no money. Um, they, it's not a lot, but you know what? Every quarter it adds up to a nice little chunk for the Warriors that I can give over to survivors. We also have this uh, Cafe Press shop, cafepress.com, Lynn's Warriors. And that is all your little goodies with the Lynn's Warriors logo. All of those proceeds go to survivors for food and necessities, um, medications, just living expenses. And I'll leave you with one more thing. Don't forget May 12th here in New York City at the University Club, I will be speaking at the Celebration of Life for LifeWay Network, something I hold near and dear, lifewaynetwork.org. Two safe houses, one in the Bronx, one in Queens. It is the model for success and for helping people reclaim their lives and get back on their feet and stay out of sex trafficking. And we need to build LifeWay Network within our state and across the United States because it is a model for success. We want to help people and lift them out of this horror. So come along with me. You got a couple of things to do. I know you can do it. Join with me. Retweet some of my tweets, share some of my Facebook stories, go on the website, lindswarriors.org. Be a warrior.